home to Western civilization, historical sites, and some of the world's most visited attractions, Europe is one fascinating continent. Whether it's the largest museum in the world, iconic churches like the Sagrada Familia, or 400 plus UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Europe has got it all. Also christened the Peninsula of Peninsulas, Europe is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west, the Arctic Ocean to the north, and the Black Caspian and Mediterranean seas to the south, making it an ideal tourist spot for many. Its ideal location notwithstanding, each country in Europe has its unique charm, making it difficult for tourists to choose their next destination. This leads to the question, with so many exotic and remote places to explore, why go to Europe? Well, there are several reasons why Europe continues to captivate the world. If the continent's history, culture and natural beauty weren't enough to entice you, the cuisine, the people and the endless sights and wonders to see would be more than enough to lure even the most demanding traveller. So if you are planning your next trip and want to make sure you avoid FOMO, you have come to the right place. Join us as we explore the top 15 emblematic tourist attractions in Europe. Whether it's medieval gothic architecture, historical ruins, or even archaeological sites, this video has got you covered. Sit tight and let the adventure begin! Number 15. St. Peter's Basilica Vatican Located in Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica is forever etched in history as the greatest church in Christendom. It bears the distinction of being the biggest church in the world, as well as shouldering the tallest dome in the world. So tall is the dome that you can fit the Statue of Liberty inside. Yep! let that sink in. Commissioned in 1506, St. Peter's Basilica was principally designed by Michelangelo, among other architects, and it took a whopping 120 years to complete. A historical, cultural and architectural landmark, the church is thought to contain the grave of St. Peter's, as well as hold treasures transcending millennia, including sculptures, paintings, artifacts and more. Here, the primary centre of attraction, La Pieta sculpture, which depicts Jesus after his crucifixion crucifixion lying in Mary's lap. This 1499 Italian marble artwork is the only work signed by Michelangelo, making it one of the most famous works of the Renaissance art era. Other notable attractions at the Basilica include the 1633 St. Peter's Baldachin bronze statue by Bernini, the 1665 chair of St. Peter, the St. Peter bronze statue, and the tomb of Alexander VII, Kigi. While here, don't forget to explore the Sistine Chapel, the Vatican Gardens, and St. Peter's Square. Number 4 14. Colosseum Italy Aside from gifting humanity with the popular thumbs-up greeting or response, Rome's Colosseum remains one of the most iconic symbols in Italy and the world at large. Constructed between 70 to 80 AD, it is located in Rome, right on the east bank on the River Tiber. Renowned for the ugly gladiator fight scenes, battle reenactments, and many other spectacles, the Colosseum was once the largest amphitheatre in the world, holding up to 80,000 spectators. More impressively, it hosted countless mock sea battles, whereby the arena was filled with water to float vessels and then drained rapidly. At the peak of its glory, the Colosseum was an imposing structure, with the outer wall towering 40 metres and the base area stretching 24,000 square metres. It also contained a retractable velarium, which protected spectators against bad weather elements. Number 13. Louvre Museum, France Unless you have weeks or months to spend in Paris, you're going to have to pick and choose the things you want to see. There's just so much to see, beginning with the world's largest and most visited art museum. Formerly a royal residence, Louvre Museum sits right on the bank of the Seine River, where it houses a stunning collection of 380,000 objects, 35,000 of which are on permanent display. If you are fascinated by art, the Louvre is home to iconic paintings and sculptures including Leonardo da Vinci's La Mona Lisa, the Coronation of Napoleon painting, and the magnificent Venus of Milo sculpture. Today, the Louvre Museum receives between 2.9 to 9 million visitors visitors annually, so if you are tired of visiting art museums displaying the same recycled items, choose the Louvre and you'll love it. Number 12. 
Pompeii, Italy. Discovering traces of the past is something that ignites the interest of many explorers around the world, and Pompeii offers much more than that. Located in Italy's South Campania region, it was one of the few surviving settlements after Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, leaving behind devastating effects. Ironically, the 19 feet blank of ash and volcanic debris from the volcano eruption did a great job in preserving the Greco-Roman city, which was eventually rediscovered and excavated in 1764. Today, you can visit the ancient city and marvel at the perfectly preserved colourful murals, a medieval amphitheatre and plaster casts of people and animals sheltering from the eruption. Number 11. Fjords of Norway For the perfect escapade with a stunning natural landscape, check out the majestic fjords in Norway. Listed as UNESCO's World Heritage Sites, they were created over 2.5 million years ago when melting glaciers settled on the valley's floor. The towering U-shaped valleys and carved cliffs harmoniously come together to create a stunning natural landscape that is almost too large to comprehend. Of the 1,000 plus fjords, the Hardingir Fjord in particular is the second longest stretching from the Atlantic Ocean Hardenga Vida Mountain Plateau in the heart of Norway. It is also widely regarded as a natural icon, partly because it is lined with historical industrial towns like Odder and hillside apple trees during springtime. Number 10. Eiffel Tower Paris the Eiffel Tower is one of France's most famous sites, and boy do people love it. Located in the heart of the Champ de Mars in Paris, it was initially constructed to act as an entrance facade to the 1889 World's Fair. At the time of construction, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest building in the world, standing at 324 meters tall. Nevertheless, Gustave Eiffel, who was the project's engineer, received negative criticism for his design, terming it an impossible model monstrosity. Today, the tower has three levels housing an exhibition house, cafes, Michelin restaurants, gift shops, observation decks and the original Gustave Eiffel's office. To access the first two levels, you can use a staircase or a lift, while the third level is only accessible via an elevator. Number 9. Tower Bridge London Often mistakenly confused with London Bridge, Tower Bridge is a striking monument on London's landscape. Thanks to its neo-Gothic architecture, opened in 1894, it cuts across the River Thames, ushering you into the views of the Tower of London, which is yet another landmark in the city. The Tower Bridge is powered by engine rooms in the northern and southern towers, and one thing visitors remark about the bridge is its high-level glass walkway and stunning panoramic views of the thrilling London life. Number 8. Gossa della Faroe Islands are you a lover of mountains, waterfalls and outdoor walks? The Faroe Islands is a place you should not miss. So far removed from civilization is this location that very few people have managed to reach it. By visiting the Gossadella in the Faroe Islands, you become a card-carrying member of the mythological Gossadella Waterfall Club. Located near the village of Gossadella, this stunning waterfall is colonized by birds, all while mightily dropping 30 meters into the North Atlantic Ocean. During windy winter days and summer sunset, the strong wind blows the mighty waterfall sideways, creating extraordinary scenery. Number 7. Mosteiro dos Jerónimos, one of Portugal's most iconic constructions. Located in Lisbon, near the Tagus River, this UNESCO-listed monastery is a celebration of Portuguese or Manuelin late Gothic style. Construction of the monastery began in 1501 and took slightly over for 100 years to complete. Initially, the original structure was built using gold-coloured limestone, but it has been subsequently improved by different kings to incorporate gold tile ceilings, imposing murals and detailed custom woodwork. Grab a chance to visit this red-hot destination in Portugal, which is notable for its 32-metre grand entrance, semi-circular arches, large gardens and intricate details. Number 6. Charles Bridge Prague at number 6 on our list is the Charles Bridge in Prague. Boasting a lifespan of 500 plus years, this Gothic structure continues to astonish its visitors as to how it has survived to date. Spanning 560 meters long, 9.5 meters wide and 13 meters high, it's the Latva River and features 16 arches and 30 medieval statues of saints, all dating right back 
to the 14th century, making it a must-see when visiting Europe. At night, the bridge's arches are dimly lit, providing the perfect opportunity to capture memorable moments. Better yet, it is completely free for users, making it ideal for travellers on a tight budget. Number 5. Brandenburg Gate, Germany Commissioned in the 18th century by King Frederick William II, the Brandenburg Gate has been at the centre stage of major historical events that shaped Germany, including surviving World War II. Towering 26 metres high and over 65 metres long, this neoclassical monument lies at the western end of Unter den Linden Avenue, rubbing shoulders with two small buildings built by Haus Sommer and Haus Liebermann in the 90s. And whilst it is largely associated with ancient Roman architecture, the Brandenburg Gate is decorated with unique sculptures and reliefs, the majority of which are inspired by the exploits of Heracles. If you want to walk down Germany's history lane, the Brandenburg Gate is a must-visit spot for you. Number 4. Cliffs of Moher, Ireland Never let the laid-back vibe and cloudy island skies give you a wrong impression. It may seem like an ordinary destination, but the Cliffs of Moher, along with coastal walking paths, have managed to put the country on the international scene. Running for 14 kilometres from Hags Head to Due South, the coastal cliffs tower 214 metres above, creating out-of-this-world photogenic views. Unsurprisingly, some of the biggest and most recent blockbusters have been filmed at the cliffs mower, including Harry Potter, The Princess Bride, The Half-Blood Prince, The Yank, Into the West, and the Macintosh Man. If you are a bird lover, the cliffs of Moa are a breeding site for over 30,000 seabirds and home to endangered bird species like guillemots, razorbills, peregrine falcons, the Atlantic puffins, fulmers and kittiwakes. Number 3. Grand Canal Venice, Italy Easily the most decorated waterway stretches in the world, the Grand Canal is a 300 feet wide behemoth cutting through Venice city for two and a half miles. It is lined on either side with beautiful centuries old buildings, all of which are viewable when riding the 5,000 plus boats that navigate the river daily. In its course, the canal snakes under four bridges through magnificent canal front restaurants, vibrant Venetian markets and well manicured gardens, giving an electric mix of architectural and artistic displays. In the evenings, the sunset views are a sight to behold and you'll witness the sun's soft yellow rays hovering over the city buildings. Number 2 Sagrada Familia Barcelona, officially known as the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia. This church in Barcelona is an iconic brainchild of renowned Catalan architect Antony Gaudi, combining elements of Catalan modernism, Spanish Late Gothic and Art Nouveau architecture. The construction of the church began in 1882 and 140 years later, it is yet to be completed. When completed in 2026, this masterpiece will have three inviting facades, 10 tall spires, surreal curves and twisting turrets, adding to the glory of Barcelona's iconic landscape. You won't regret picking this monument for a tour, thanks to its gorgeous, inspiring sight. Number 1. The Leaning Tower of Pisa Dating back to the 12th century, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is renowned for its 4 degree tilt and the incredible 199 years it took to complete. Sitting behind the Pisa Cathedral, the tower was constructed to reflect the Romanesque style and it currently stands at 55.86 meters tall. After a major foundation straightening in the late 90s, the tower was reopened to the public in 2001. Inside, it houses twin spiral staircases cases with 294 steps leading to the bell chamber with one staircase incorporating two extra steps to compensate for the tower's lean. The history of the tower and its incredible engineering are some of the reasons why it has always attracted tourists from all over the world. And you may want to visit this emblematic building when touring Italy. That's it for our top 15 emblematic destinations in Europe that continue to captivate the world. Let us know in the comments section which is your favourite spot. There are just so many beautiful attractions we could probably do a top 1000 video.